Today we are taking this 12 foot John boat right here and we are turning it into a bass boat. Stay tuned, this is gonna be awesome. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the A-Dub Fishing YouTube channel. Today we are mixing it up and we're actually working on a boat. Now all of you who clicked on this video must be interested in boats because this is a John Boat to Bass Boat video. And I have this little boat right here behind me. I actually posted a video of this thing like five years ago when I first started my channel and it actually did really good and it was just me building this boat out and we actually have to redo it because a lot of things are messed up on this boat so i will go ahead and show you guys what's messed up and then we're going to go to lowe's we got to buy some stuff we got to go ahead rebuild this whole thing and then we're going to go out and we're going to fish on it we're going to do some tournaments this year on it it's going to be really really cool but uh let's go ahead take a look at the boat and see what's wrong with this thing because it is pretty jacked up all right so this is her right here this is the good old 12 foot sea nymph and uh she has seen better days this thing used to be a, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? A queen out on the water. She was, uh, she was beautiful, but she definitely needs some work now. You can tell these, uh, these hatches need some work. Uh, trolling motor needs a little bit of work. We'll take a look in here. The hinges are coming apart. As you can tell, very, very dirty, very nasty. Uh, it's just, just needs a lot of, needs a lot of work. <laughs> This is actually the floor for right here, and it does not have any carpet on it. It's very wet. You can tell this piece is just all worn out. It doesn't have any carpet. We got leaves all down here. This fish finder is just completely shot now. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do anything because there's water in there. And then we come to the back deck right here. That is mold, so that's definitely got to go. We've got a mess with all this wiring down here. We've got this redneck engineering right here with this old light switch. And uh, this whole thing just needs to be fixed. This is rotted right here. That's gonna have to be replaced. Very, very dirty all over the boat. The trailer and everything have got to be cleaned off. It just needs a lot of work. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start doing a little bit of demo on this thing, tearing it apart. Then we gotta go get some new things and go ahead and start putting everything back together, making it beautiful again. So our first step is going to be actually removing everything. Gotta take off the trolling motor. Gotta take off the decks, just get it down to just a bare boat. That way we can take measurements on everything, make sure we're getting enough material, and then we're actually gonna use this size to make the new one because everything fits how it should. But uh, the wood is just rotted, needs to be redone, the carpet's really old, just everything needs to be replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and try to take it off all in one piece. That way we can replace it and make it exactly how it was before. All right, folks, we have got the boat stripped down. She is a naked girl now, and uh, you can see it is a mess, but we've got the decks out. These are some of the hatches right there. That was the front deck right there. That was the back deck right there. And now it's just a bare boat. We're actually about to go to the good old Lowe's Boat Improvement to go get some stuff for it. Got to get plywood, some two by threes, or I don't know, some wood. Got to get some wire, got to get, I don't know what else we got to get. What, what we got to get, Caleb? We got to get like a lot of stuff to spend a lot of money. Yeah, I can't even see you. You look black, it's okay. But yeah, we got to uh, we got to get a lot of stuff. I'm probably gonna go spend, I don't know, probably 150 bucks. Oh, we got to get carpet. Oh, I forgot about that. We need carpet. That's what we got to get. We got to get carpet and sealer. We got to get some sealer like that. So uh, we got to get a couple things. We're gonna try to keep it under like 200 bucks. But we'll see. We'll catch you guys at the Lowe's. Time to go spend some money. Hello, everybody. It is now day number two. We ended up staying up a little bit last night and working on the boat. You can tell we've got some other stuff done to it. We've got some of the sealer brushed on right here. It actually rained and washed it away on some of these spots before it had actually dried. But you can see this spot right here is totally dried all the way around. So we've actually got to coat this a little bit more. And then we're going to go ahead, cut some more pieces. But this is all screwed together. This is where there's going to be all of the hatches and everything. The live well is going to go right here. This is storage. And then this is going to be solid deck right here. This is going to be solid deck right here. This is just going to be floor for you to stand on. And then we have not even started on the back yet. We're running out of daylight. It's actually the afternoon now and uh, we got to get to it. So I'm going to put this camera down and start doing some more work on this thing. We got to go ahead and brush some more sealer on here. All right, guys, it is now the next day. We didn't even do anything the last time that I picked up the camera. 
Um, but today we're actually driving like an hour to go pick up a trolling motor. I do have a trolling motor for the front of this thing, but it's from like 1987 and it's like a 20 pound thrust. So we are getting a 55 pound thrust. I found a deal on Facebook and that's where we are going. I've got my, my buddy Caleb with me. He's back here somewhere. There he is. So yeah, we're about to go ahead and uh, hop in the truck and we're going to head up that way. It is dark. The time change just happened and I had no idea that even happened, but uh, apparently it gets dark earlier now. So we're about to head to go pick up a trolling motor. We'll catch you guys once we get there. Update, just got cookout, just smacked the cookout. She gone. If you don't know about cookout, whenever you see one, you gotta go eat some of this stuff. Bag secured, got the old men coder up in here now. Gonna go head back to the house and then we're gonna get this thing thrown on the boat pretty soon. I'm excited though, I got a deal on this thing and the guy was super, super cool. He might be watching this video, so shout out to him. But uh, I'm excited I got this thing. Let's go ahead and head back to the house now. We got a little bit of a drive in the old F-350 6.0. All right, we've got another update. Actually, a pretty big update because we've gotten a lot of stuff done on this boat. I haven't been showing you guys. I've actually been working on this thing a ton today. I don't even know what day this is I'm working on it. Probably like day five. But uh, this is the biggest thing that we have done right now. This is actually the front deck. I've got it all coated with all of the sealer. And then I've actually got all the carpet on here. And all I did was take these staples and we just stapled all around the outside of it. And I didn't even use any carpet glue. Um, I just didn't want to buy any and didn't want to put it on, so we didn't put any on there. Staples seem like they're gonna hold fine. Next, we have to cut out these hatches. And then we have to make these a little bit smaller so that way they will fit. Then we have to cover these, carpet these, and then put hinges on and then get them mounted. We also have this floor done. I actually went ahead, coated this thing, put the bottom rails on it. Put the carpet on there. We stapled this on there the exact same way as we did the other one over there. But uh, I'm pretty satisfied with how it's coming. We're almost done with the front deck as far as like having the, the big stuff done. And then we've got to start on the back. And we have one day until we have a tournament. So we definitely got to get this thing ready. And uh, still got to get the trolling motor in there mounted on here. I got a lot to do. I'm going to be up late tonight, so I'm going to get off the camera. I'm going to start doing some more work. I will keep you guys updated on any more progress that I make. Got another update. We have got the carpet on here now. This actually looks really, 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 really good. I'm going to get up in here. That way you guys can see. We've got the live well cut out. We've got the two storage cutouts. And now all we have to do is actually build the live well. And then we have to get the lids, which are over there have to carpet those, have to seal those, and then make them fit here. Then just mount them with hinges. And then the front deck is going to be done besides mounting the trolling motor, which should not be hard. I'm pretty sure I can use the same holes as I did for my other trolling motors. That shouldn't be a huge deal. So uh, I don't know. I'm excited though. This is, this is pretty sweet. I think the way that I'm gonna have this too is these doors are gonna open up to the outsides. So grab the handle here, open it up grab the handle here, open it up. And then this one I think is gonna open up this way. That way you can be down here, standing on this floor, unhooking your fish, open up your live well, throw them right in there. You're good to go. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm excited, I'm gonna keep working on this thing. We've still got some daylight left. And we've still got a lot left to do. So uh, let's go ahead, get to it. Whew, well, as you can tell, the beard is now gone. I'm actually working on the John boat again, and you guys are just seeing this video, but I started this video probably seven months ago, and then I stopped working on it. But we're back out here working on the John boat, so I've got another update for all of you, and we're going to wrap this thing up right now. I am determined. It is now like 95 degrees outside. Last time I was working on this thing, I'm pretty sure I was like wearing sweatshirts because it was in the fall. It is now spring, almost summer, but we're going to get this thing done. We've got a tournament this weekend, and I've got to have this boat for it. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing. Earlier in the video, we finished the front deck. Everybody already knows that, but now we're moving on to the back deck, and I've actually just finished doing this. I did all this today. This is my deck system right here. I've just got all this made out of wood, and then I put the same sealer on here that I was using for the front. It is this stuff right here, which I probably need to close off because it's probably gonna dry. That's not good. But yeah, this is the rig right here. We're actually about to throw some carpet on here, and then I have to take that lid up there, put some carpet on there, and then we're gonna put it on here and then it should be done. This part's done, this part's done. Got the trolling motor up on the front. Don't have a trolling motor for the back and I actually ripped out the transom because it was rotten but I don't think I'm gonna replace it yet because I don't even have a motor for the back. So I think we're just gonna roll with the one trolling motor and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw some carpet on this thing. I'm ready to see it done. Good morning, puppy. Hey. 
All right, so last night we actually ended up finishing this thing with the exception of hinges. So I've got everything done. This is the back lid with the back compartment. Don't have the bilge pump hooked up. Have all these stray wires from my old setup. So I'm actually about to go get some hinges right now for this lid. But other than that, this thing is done. It looks pretty good. The only thing that I have a complaint about is this lid is swelling, but that's because this is a live well and I don't have a cover on the boat. Water gets in here, makes it swell up. But everything looks good to me. I'm excited. We're gonna go to the store, we're gonna get hinges, and we have to get some JB weld or something to seal this off and a little hole right here because I was taking on water last time. There might be another hole somewhere. Um, I'm gonna have to find that, but we gotta get something to seal that off. And then after that, we're gonna go to the lake and we're gonna put this thing to the test today. I'm excited. We gotta go ahead and get in the 6.0, head to the store. All right, guys, so this is the completed build right here. We have got everything done. We're just gonna go through everything really quickly just in case you missed anything throughout the video. Up front, we've got our new trolling motor. We've got our bilge pump switch right here for our live well, which is going to be right here. This is just a liner with a piece of PVC and a bilge pump that's gonna recirculate. We've got storage right here and storage right here. We've got a floor right here and then we've got our back deck, which is what we just completed. We've got a bilge pump back there. This is gonna be a battery box right here. And this is our completed boat. She looks awesome and I'm excited to go out there and test this thing out. All right, well, we got the front sealed up, I think about as good as it's gonna get and we are hooked up to the truck. Don't have this other white pole on here, but I don't have enough time, so we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna get one more strap to strap down right here. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and go. Got the rods and stuff in the truck. Got my net right there for the bigs. I'm ready to go. Let's go to the lake, test this thing out. All right, guys, well, we made it to the lake and uh, she's moving and grooving. Don't have anybody to stand on the back deck, but hey, I'm up here on the front and it's working fine. We've got a little bit of water leakage in here. Not really sure where it's coming from, but there's definitely a little bit in here. You can see, so my tackle's probably gonna be rusted, but we're already out here, so. You know what? Oh well, we're rolling with it, so. I don't know, she's working good though. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, that's a small boat. Yeah, it's a little low to the water. I mean, you can see, it's a little low, but hey, it works. And the last tournament I fished in this thing, we won, so. It'll get the job done. If you guys are out there saying, well, I don't have a boat, I need a bass boat, blah, blah, blah. You can do this right here and you can make your own bass boat. This is how I got started in tournaments. When I was 13, 14 years old, I used to get dropped off at the lake. My parents would drop me off. They'd take the trailer with them and I would just go fishing in my John boat. That's how I started fishing tournaments. And you can do the same thing. Preferably get a little bit of a bigger boat, maybe a 14 or a 16 foot, but John boats are a lot cheaper than a normal bass boat. You can build this thing for three, 400 bucks and then you are good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the John boat build. I'm about to go ahead and start doing some fishing. Be tuned for some John boat content coming up. We have a tournament this weekend and you guys are gonna see that on the channel. So if you're not subscribed, be sure you are subscribed to the channel down below. That way you don't miss it. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, A-Dub out.